Howdy Texans, it's Alan Spado, October 28th, 1835, for This Day in Texas History. Alright, so on this day, Battle of Concepcion, at 6 o'clock, General Cost orders uh, Colonel Ugarteca to attack the Texans with 273 soldiers and a pair of cannons. Uh, approximately between 7.30 and 8, Mexican soldiers arrive at Concepcion. Mexican scout sp uh, spots Henry Carnes and shoots at him, hitting his powder horn. Texans under James Bowie uh, move to the gully and fire from there, uh, from that place. The, the gully where the Texans were at uh, was in the middle of the trees. The Mexican army then surrounds the Texans and start firing their cannons. The cannon shots did no damage, but did knock pecans off the trees, giving the army something to eat during the battle. So imagine this battle's going on, it's knocking uh, pecans down, and while the Texans, while they're being pinned down, are eating the uh, pecans. That's grace under pressure. Uh, Mexican guns had a range of 70 yards because they were, uh, they didn't have rifle in their muskets and were facing the Texans whose guns had a range of 200 yards. They had rifles. A lot more accurate. The ammunition the Mexican army used, <laughs> this is funny, Mexican army used was so poor that musket balls bounce off of Texans doing nothing more than a brew. So imagine that you get shot and the bullet bounces off you because it's so poor, uh, poorly made. So... Texans had a lot of good things going in their favor. And they had a smart uh, Jim uh, Jim Bowie with them, who leads them the rest of the way. I'll have another video talking about the rest of the battle of Concepcion, but that's how. Also on this date, uh, the battle report Jim Bowie and Fanson to Stephen F. Austin. Austin reports uh, of the battle of Concepcion to the convention, so a lot of the letters going back and forth. Um, Austin to Rusk. He has sent two guides to bring him to where Austin is. Austin sends out an order on discipline. Prompt obedience to orders and strict discipline are necessary, and any officer who disobey orders will be arrested and held till a uh, till court martial. M. Austin Bryant to Perry on Concepcion. The main Texian army showed up an hour after the battle. The Texians have intercepted dispatches from Matamoros directing the uh, directing directed to Cost, excuse me, um, to Cost stating that money and troops were scarce. The Texians have four prisoners. So a lot of good stuff was gotten from there. They had uh, prisoners. They had uh, all the all their little plans and notes. So a lot of good things came out of the battle. Geo Huff and Spencer H. Jack to the council, calling Sam Houston a traitor who desires the defeat of Texian army. And here we go with the uh, back and forth uh, between the various Texian groups that uh, did not get it together until after the fall of the Alamo. Uh, it would be a big, huge uh, pain the entire time. Historian J.R. Edmondson describes Concepcion as the first major engagement of the Texas Revolution. Um, between the uh, the Tejanos recruited by Juan Seguin and Placido, uh, uh, excuse me, Placido Benavides, the total number of Tejanos who fought at Concepcion with Bowie or the main army was counted as being around 70. Quite a few men who fought and, and uh, died at the Battle of the Alamo uh, were in this battle, including James Bowie, William Barrett Travis, Damaso Jimenez, William Scurlock, Benjamin Franklin Highsmith, and several more of the uh, Tejanos under Seguin. Uh, some of the Tejanos to make claim to have served under Bowie at Concepcion in their pension uh, petitions are Matthias Maldonado, Fermán Martínez, Manuel Martínez, Joaquín Casas, Juan Reyes, Antonio Garza, Stefarino Huizar, Luis Gomez, and Canuto Diaz. These were mainly men under Paso Benavides. There is no complete role for the men who fought at the Battle of Concepcion. All right, this has been Alan Spade for This Day in Texas History. Uh, as always, please, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe. If you don't have a YouTube account, please sign in. Get a free YouTube account and then subscribe. It's all free. It helps the site. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow with uh, This Day in Texas History for October 29th. Good night.